I was decorating my new helmet and then I was like, wow, I can not complain or be shocked if people think I'm 16 or 18 or whatever. <laughs> this is so childlike and I don't care at all because it's so colorful. I love it. I feel like summery. <laughs> so it's like a lesson of just doing what you like and just feeling what you want to feel like there are no such thing there's no such thing as acting your age or anything like as long as you respect people and be a nice person like just love whatever you love like i don't understand why people uh, box certain things or label certain things as age related it's not it, it just like allow yourself to like whatever you like and put stickers on your helmets because colors <laughs>so i always say i want to uh, record the whole design process because i find it super fun but because i find it super fun i forget to record <laughs> so here i'm just trying to create a little um i think it's called an inside tag like a neck tag inside neck tag i googled it and that's the name it gave me <laughs> so instead of having this annoying tag here that like itches and it's the first thing some people remove from the shirt um i'm gonna design a little either iron on or vinyl i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet but to go here and just like tell you the size of the shirt that it's 100 percent cotton but i'm not sure of the size of this thing so that's what i'm doing right now i just printed a few that are like a little bit smaller than each other just to see which one I like best and I think I'm still gonna go a little bit smaller than this because you don't want like it to be that big right I don't know and then here I still have to cut my hem label I think that's how it's called oh gosh have to learn all the names again <laughs> not that I knew them before <laughs> in my first language but I have to pretend like I did Okay, so this guy, uh, you're not focusing, but this guy is going to go here on the sleeve. Um, right here. I don't know how to do it with my left hand. Wait up. Um, 
He's gonna go like this. Just a little detail. Oh my god, that's so cute. Hi. <laughs> Just a little detail. And I love doing details. So that's what I'm up to. I think I'll show you in a bit in a bit once everything is ready. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I just forgot to show you that I'm doing everything on Photoshop. Um, I'll, sometimes I'll do like... Wait, let me open here. I'll start with the text on Photoshop and the format, like the size of the canvas here on Photoshop. Then I'll take it to Procreate here to actually draw whatever I need to draw on. In this case, it was this little drawing part draw drawn <laughs> my little drawings and i'm still not sure if i'm gonna have this one on colored paper because i would like to have colored paper paper <laughs> paper like this one here that i sand off with um original paintings oops but i'm not sure what i'm gonna do because this paper here is like plain copy paper so it's super um, flimsy and I would like to have something a little bit more sturdy like a cardstock like this that won't really bend a lot in the shipping process so I'm not sure what to do I wish you could be here to tell me what you think but when you see this video when you watch it it'll be too late so <laughs> I'll see you later alligator <laughs> Yo guys, look at this. What if I leave it just enough that when it's like covered, not covered, like in a neutral position, <laughs> the neckline, it shows just the little guys out there. So cute. Because nobody really cares um, about the size of the shirt after you already bought it, right? You already know because you bought it. <laughs> so we just leave them saying hi. That's so cute. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll probably remove this one. Or not, because it has some care tips. I don't know. Because the little card that I'm making has the care tips, so it's okay. <laughs>
I'm here to tell you that I just had my first ever live stream on Twitch and it was so exciting because if you're like me and you watch YouTube videos but then you're either doing something like I don't know like doing the dishes or running and you don't feel like stopping the video to comment down on the comment section or you know if you're doing dishes you have your hands wet you don't really want to stop uh, to do that and then you end up never commenting <laughs> because I don't know it's just an inconvenient to remember what you wanted to say and then go down the, t the comment section and then actually comment so if you're like me streams are great because you could just chat or not or you could just lurk like I do but <laughs> anyways I feel like it's a great um, way of getting to know somebody and having that company in the background if you will <laughs> so I just leave my twitch down below if you're interested in having like longer format videos Actually, today I wanted to show you uh, new plants that I got over the weekend. I went to the market and let me just show you super quick here the situation. <laughs> I have a jungle. Let me show you the ones that I got. So on this side of my desk, I have a few plants, just those three. This one is a pilia that I actually repotted from my big pilia that i'll show you in a bit because it got so big <laughs> so she's having a little corner here and then here are my succulents and watercolor paper that i have to test <laughs> it's summer so it's really bright and sunny and warm okay here my umbrella quick plant tour <laughs> so i got this begonia over the weekend it's an angel wing begonia. It's, it has a green back. It's really cute. I've wanted a begonia for such a long time. Just never found. <laughs> well, I wasn't looking for it, but I wanted it. <laughs> this is kind of like the brother or cousin to a fiddle fig leaf, which by the way, mine resurrected somehow because it only had these two leaves. And then this summer it kind of like rose like a phoenix <laughs> so I got this guy it's called the bunion bunion kind of like bunny <laughs> and a begonia and this one it's a croton which is the same uh, plant family as this one but this one has like these big leaves and it's so pretty when you keep it on the Sun like in a sunny space It'll show these beautiful colors, like red and yellow and orangey. And when you when you put it on a low light situation, it kind of has like these really dark green leaves. Somebody's bothering me a lot on my phone. Sorry. Um, and here's the big pilia. And look at that. I can already repot her again because she has a little, a little sun here on this side can you see it it's focusing somewhere else and a big guy over here so oh my god and two babies here she's so fast she's so big <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to show you the new babies she's so beautiful i can't stop looking at them <sighs> also i'm propagating hi here's me <laughs> i'm propagating my trend is Kentia. Look how big she is. Look at that. Trailing all over. <laughs> and I'm propagating her in here. I cut these, I think, three days ago. And she already has her roots, which is great. And this is the same one as you saw, the Crotum bush. And in here I have some others. My cactus, fishbone cactus. Um, hi. <laughs> Here is a rubber tree, rubber plant, and my money tree, which is gigantic. <laughs> and a fan. <laughs> and a spider plant here. That's it. Plant tour is finished. It's done. <laughs>
As I'm watching back these takes from so many months ago, I can't help but think about how many things have changed. Not that my routine changed or nothing actually changed, like literally. But it was just my perception of my time and the way I do things. And if I could try to explain it in words, <laughs> it's kind of like I've been treating my time in a very scarce way. Like, you know, that scarcity mindset of thinking there's never enough time to do the things that I need to or want to, or there's never enough anything. It's like this black hole that keeps sucking you into this huge mess and suddenly like there's never enough of anything there's never enough time there's never enough numbers likes views followers like it just sucks you into this mindset of seeing things in a, in a certain way and looking for things to just confirm what you already think and suddenly you're like you connect to so many people that are also aware of the same things and I was like, oh, okay, that's just how it is now because everybody's complaining about the same things. But now I just switched it completely, like 360, because I've literally seen many people doing the exact opposite, seeing how social media is working so well for them and how they seem to be thriving in whatever they're doing. And it's just like, I wish there was a rule or there was something that I could tell you that happened in my life that caused this shift but it's literally just me choosing to think differently because well literally because i went through a dark hole of letting my mind do whatever it wants and just pick up on those things that i allowed it to do like thinking too much about numbers about analytics about how i used to perform i'm gonna say it like that you know because every time you go on youtube or instagram they give you a rundown of your status for the past whatever you you pick from and it's like a, a little dashboard as soon as you log in and it's just so automatic to go into comparing it into like last month or past 28 days something like that and as a creator, you can't help but see that all the time and it infiltrates your mind because, well, you're repeating it all the time. So now suddenly you see minus, 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 like things are going worse than it was before and that's it. And I've been like that for so many months now and my whole year was basically like downhill because I started seeing like this lack and lack and lack and the more I saw lack <laughs> the more I felt lack and the more I felt like things were not working and and the less motivated I was to actually make more stuff and then it just fed itself like a big snowball that kept gathering trash and then <laughs> like I was expecting to make a beautiful snowman but it was just like a bunch of trash. So how would I make a beautiful snowman with a bunch of crap, right? <laughs> and like I said, I wish there was something that I could tell you that flicked the switch for me. But honestly, it was just going down a wrong path and picking up the consequence of that, which is a terrible mental health. Terrible to the point that it actually causes me physical pain. I know that for every person is going to be different how like the form that stress takes for some people it's like anxiety and it causes problems with appetite and <laughs> digestion and for other people it's headaches and for other people they just get depressed and like want to withdraw from everything and um well for me it was like everything at once <laughs> plus some more but it doesn't really matter, like what I wanted to say is that it changed so much because I was picking up on these tiny things, these tiny habits that I used to do and now everything seems so different because I slowly am teaching my brain to see reality in a, in a different way and now I'm like reaping what I sow, kinda, that's what I feel like not to say that things are perfect, but just to realize how I'm much more 
balanced now in terms of like work-life balance not only that but in terms of what i feel like instead of feeling all the time that i was lacking something i just feel like there is enough there's always enough for me to create there is always enough supplies enough time enough people to share it with enough anything really because it, <laughs> there really is like i'm not trying to reinvent the wheel or do something crazy different or you know sometimes we think we're not a human i think <laughs> i bet this is some kind of cognitive bias or something but we tend to think we're not normal like <laughs> okay that sounded weird but we tend to think we're super different in a way that we don't like the, the rules of being human don't apply to us like we're so different that we're not average human, you know what I mean? <laughs> like we're the exception of every single rule. Like how? What do you think averages are made from? Like, <laughs> but I'm just happy to be human. And oh my God, this is weird now. Cause in my past life, when I was an alien from planet X50700, I was a lot sadder. I'm just happy to be a normal human because I know that my brain can learn things because that's what a normal human is capable of doing. And I can teach my brain to not overthink and not go into mental places that is going to cause it to degrade itself and cause me to see life through a bad lens. So all of this is just to tell you that yes, there is the other side of a bad mental health state and sometimes it feels like well not sometimes most of the times it feels like there is no end to a situation or a circumstance is gonna last forever or there's so much pain emotional pain physical pain that it just feels like nothing is ever gonna change because it didn't change yesterday it didn't change for weeks it, it hasn't changed for months maybe even years so why would it change now but the thing is, it can. As long as you keep working and keep showing up, something is gonna change because that's life, right? <laughs> and here I go ending on the very deep conversation note again. <laughs> but I can't help it. I'm, I'm just sharing with you what I've been learning with my life. And I think if I could make you feel a little bit more hopeful and a little bit more cheerful, of course I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, thank you for being here and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!